The Lord be with you. Today, my dear sisters and my dear brothers, is the 29th Sunday in the Ordinary Time. In our readings of today, we are invited to reflect on what humility is. And one of the marks of humility is that of, uh, of, of us accepting our helplessness. Today, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, our gospel reading of today is telling us of a story, a kind of weird story, of a judge and the one who was so insistent in asking, insistent in asking for favor from the judge. Jesus Christ tells us that this judge is not afraid of God. This, Jesus Christ tells us that this judge is not afraid of anyone. But then he gave in because he realized that the insistence of the woman, of her being insistent and in asking for a favor, will never stop until he is going to grant it to him. I think, my dear sisters and my dear brothers, what we would be looking at in the gospel reading of today, it's not about the judge who is, in a way, um, not minding and not being afraid of God or being arrogant for that matter. But I think what we would be looking at at this point would be this woman who was so insistent in asking for what she needs. In the first reading, we will be given light from the second book of Kings. No, in, from, the, from the book of Exodus, where Joshua was asked by Moses to lead a battle against the Amalekites. And then when they were about to, when they were fighting against them, God was telling the, the Israelites that the real power is not coming from them, but the real power is them accepting that they were powerless before God. What happened was Moses has to be helped by people in order for his hands to be kept um, stretched out because if he's going to put it down, they would be losing a battle. Which means, my dear sisters and my dear brothers, that they should be humble in accepting their own helplessness. It is not with their own might that they will be winning battles, but it is by the might of God that they will be winning against the Amalekites. My dear sisters and my dear brothers, our gospel reading of today is telling us that our insistent prayer, us really consistently asking the Lord, is us accepting our own helplessness. Humility, my dear sisters and my dear brothers, is accepting that everything is really coming from the Lord. And one of its aspects is us really admitting and accepting that we are helpless before the Lord. That our power is nothing compared to the power of the Lord. My dear sisters and my dear brothers, hopefully in our journey in this life, we would be reminded that we, would, we should be more humble before the Lord, that we would be accepting, that we are helpless before Him, for us to always acknowledge that we are mere children of His, and everything that we should be doing, and everything that we should be receiving should be coming from the Lord. I know it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy because our pride will tell us that there's so much that we can do. Our pride will assure us, in a way will convince us, will make us believe that we can do so much without God. But my dear sisters and my dear brothers, our gospel reading of today and our readings of today is reminding us that no, our might is nothing compared to the might of the Lord. We will win our battles if we will be putting all our trust in the might of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for reminding us today of our own helplessness, that as children of yours, may we always be looking towards running to you in our needs, in our difficulties. May we all put our trust in you, and may, may we all believe be living our lives in such a way that we will always be believing in your power and in your assistance in our lives. May we all be reminded that without you, we cannot do anything. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.